They're set to go. Light flashing. They're off and racing. And uh, Mystic Jane, the favourite, the first to go from Living High. Visions of Grace playing hardball. And going forward then, the way I walk soon after settling down with Belgrano. Bell occupying a spot close to the rails early. In behind those, Fearless Talk, God's Dream and Harvey's Angel dropping out. And two lengths behind them is Royal Elite. They'd settled at the 1,000 mark. The favourite, Mystic Jane, just in front of Living High. Making a line of three on the outside of those. Next of all is Visions of Grace. Improving along the rails, Belgrano. Bell strode up there to be fourth in front of the great Southern Galloper playing hardball. Over on the outside of those there next of all is the Way I Walk which is sitting three deep but with cover. They're followed further back to Fearless Talk. Royal Elite dropping out last Harvey's Angel. Mystic Jane took them by the 550 leaving the river side of the track. Mystic Jane three quarters to a length in front living high. Over on the outside covering plenty of additional ground. Visions of Grace with Belgrano Bell pushing up now following Mystic Jane's every move into the home turn. Pike about to bring play and hardball to the outside. God's Dream had cut the corner and then the way I walk. Mystic Jane challenged by Belgrano Bell at the 200 now. Belgrano Bell accelerated. Bounded away from Mystic Jane. Wow, look at this go. Belgrano Bell. It's opening up. It's going to destroy them. Belgrano Bell. Fearless talk running on down the outside. Probably gets second but Belgrano Bell lapped them. Belgrano Bell in a canter. Nearly a four-way go, in fact, for second and third. Fearless talk. Also there, the fast-finishing Royal Elite coming from well back. And with those playing hardball and Harvey's Angel, it picked off a lot of them too after being last. Then God's Dream, Visions of Grace, Mystic Jane, tiptoed to the line, living high. And the way I walk has finished up back there, Stone Motherless last. Belgrano Bill. Bill. Absolutely has given them a caning. Regano Mayor, Brad Parnham aboard. Out of there, right on the tail of Mystic Jane. There's another fave that bites the dust. And that's six out of six today in a punter's graveyard. Now, Royal Elite's come so quickly late. Might have got a dive for second here. Big effort late. It has. It's got there in the photo. Number five. In front of 10, Fearless Talk, which was the wider of them. And fourth, number seven, playing hardball in front of Harvey's Angel, who'd run on very well. Six, five, ten, seven, but Mystic Jane gave up the ghost after leading them and has been found wanting. Belgrano Bell, though, a Regano Happy Hallowell Mayor for Takahide Ikenushi, Mrs. D. Old, and Paige Kenny, and trained by Ike. Ridden by Brad Parnham home in 36.03 off a time of 125.84, winning by five and a quarter. And that's the win of the day. Short half head, second and third. Five and a quarter, a short half head, Belgrano Bell. And today that's her second victory in 12 runs. And she's been knocking on the door. Very good, this preparation for new trainer Ike with the blinkers going on. And uh, scoring from Royal Elite by King's Troop out of Royal Fortune, Taj Dyson, the rider for Fred Kersley. Third, Fearless Talk. And it's an I'm All the Talk recoverable filly, Stephen Parnham, for trainer Eddie Philp. Okay, so a runaway win here and uh, just absolutely took to the ground like a duck to water. Race seven, over 21.56, blue card comes out of uh, the next and half past four. Let's go down to Brittany. And uh, Ike doing a super job too with his uh, smallish team. But boy, oh boy, they're getting the results down there. And as on this, just switched on with the shades this afternoon with a bit of give in the ground. Oh, well, we were speaking pre-race, Ike, and uh, having a bit of a joke around would she handle uh, the wet? And the joke was, well, we'll tell you after the race. I think she answered the question comprehensively just then. Yeah, she did, didn't she? <laughs> The blinkers on and the lugging bit on today. Talk us through the ideas behind the gear changes. Yeah, um, lugging bit first up, probably she was lugging in bit, bump into other horse, and I saw second up didn't do much, so I saw better changes, something. So put lugging bit, and she was travelling better with lugging bit as well. When she came into the corner today and she just needed to find some some space, did you think she was capable of exploding the way she did? Or oh, not like it did that. I, I was hoping coming home, but I didn't think we win that much. What's she like behind the scenes? Oh, she's everything good. Like easy to do everything. 
Congratulations, doing a great job with the team, and that was an excellent victory. Thank you. There is Takahari Aikanushi, over five length win there to Begrano Bell. She was in a race of her own in the end, Scott. The, they were battling out for the miners. Well, that was hotly contested, but she had was just way too good for them today. Well, you could see in the run, Brad Parnham just needed somewhere to go. He had a horse in the breeze in uh, Living High who was just holding on there long enough into the home corner. But as soon as Brad Parnham saw daylight, it was all over and abound. Brad, it looked like from about the 600 metre marker, it was just going to be a question of, for you of when can I get out? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I knew I was following a handy one anyway, so I was probably always was going to get that split. Um, but I was travelling really well and I... And I was pretty confident, but yeah, she really actually let down a lot quicker than I expected. Um, she got through that track really well, whereas probably most of the other ones struggled a little bit. So um, yeah, it was, it was a really good effort. In the end, it's a pretty different run from a similar spot to first up. Now that day when you protested, copped that whip over the nose, she was sort of grinding to the line. Today, it was a real turn of, turn of foot. Yeah, it was. Uh, that's like I said, I, I was, you know, I was sort of trying to flow into the race. Like I said, I was not really expecting to let down that quick, but she did, so. Hopefully going forward, maybe it's the wet, so hopefully going forward, there's a few wet tracks and she can do well. What did you think of last of the line earlier on in the Diggers' Cup? He was good. Um, he's just carrying a lot of weight this prep and he's not been able to have a, an accelerating turn of foot or anything. So I worked him into the race and I thought he felt like the winner at one stage, but um, yeah, he just grounded the line really and, and Steve's was able to have that turn of foot and so it beat us comfortably, but it was a good run. Congratulations. Thanks. There is Brad Parnham combines with Ike and it's Belgrano Bell who takes out race number six.